Senator Sergio Osmeña III said he was not convinced that President Benigno Aquino III should be given authority to contract additional power plants. No, uh, my recommendation to these committee members at this time would be to study it some more, but if I had to decide today, I would not give it to him. During the hearing, Energy Secretary Carlos Jericho Petilia tried to convince senators that a joint resolution was necessary to address the projected power shortage during the summer of 2015. Every summer, mahal ang kuryente. Tumakas talaga ang presyo ng kuryente. And then it goes down. It's a cycle. Uh, from, from the last, if I recall correctly, the increase from non-summer to actual summer was about 60 centavos or 70 centavos, an increase on the Ralco. Okay. Now, potentially, kung wala tayong gagawin at that particular time, it can probably go up higher than that. But it will go up definitely in the summer. But Osmeña said he was not happy with the numbers. Petilia argued that the increase would be negligible, especially with the secondary price cap imposed on the wholesale electricity spot market. Assuming nandiyan ang secondary cap, for summer, ang average price with the secondary cap is 13.60. Pero sir, ba't kanina may binanggit kayo na may 2 pesos na pa possibility na tumaas siya ng 2 pesos? Maximum na yan, maximum, kung magwala ang merkado during yellow alert. Pero during red alert, walang increase. Kasi walang trading eh. Kasi walang korte. Suspended ang market. Pero during yellow alert, ang tinatanong lang naman ni Senator Recto, Ano bang pinakamataas na abutin nito? Well, theoretically, dalawang piso. Mm -hmm. Pero will it reach dalawang piso with the secondary cap? Mm -hmm. However, Osmanya said he preferred the interruptible load program, which will allow the country to buy excess power from those with private generating sets. ILP plus the new plants. You don't have to give those who own gen sets incentives. They're very willing to do it. This is Christine Sabilio for Inquirer.net.